Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I don't know what we're drawing today. Whoa, 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 whoa. The theme is mystery. Who knows what will be generated by the Drawfee suggestion generator. Uh, we're returning to that that good website. Yeah, our good friend Nick Glenn. Friend of the show. Made this website, drawfee-generator.com. It's a fun website. It's got over 200, sorry, it's got exactly 273,904 possibilities. So I bet we haven't done all those. Yeah, I think we've only done like three. Yeah, we've only done three. So we got a good bit more to get through. Yeah, we did an episode with it uh, a while ago and um, we want to bring it back. I'm going to get a suggestion. Let's do it. An amused talking train Answering, answering life's, life's most, most important, important questions. questions. Mm. So, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine sort of stuff, sort of body horror stuff going around. Yeah. I know we did an episode, and then also I think the artist's name is Joel Joel Carroll drew a drew a really horrifying drew one. a really horrifying one, and the two get conflated a lot. There's lots of bad Thomases out there that are up to no good. This is an amused talking train. This, this train is just happy to be here. Yeah, this so one's I, out to help you yeah. with your big problems. It's, if you're confused it's about answering things, life's you're, most important questions. You know, your body's going through changes and you gotta ask someone about it. And yeah. maybe your parents aren't comfortable. Mm -hmm. You gotta talk to this train. <laughs> You gotta talk to this train. This train's gonna know what to do for you. I think its eyes are definitely gonna be dilated. Yeah, for well, seeing seeing things beyond. Yeah, beyond what the the mortal eye can see. He's so amused. He's just like, haha. I love to talk about life's most important questions. Doesn't Noth stress me out whatsoever. Nothing happens after you die. Like, oh, I didn't even ask that one. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. No heaven, no hell, no gods in the sky. Where were you in the Renaissance? It's the same. <laughs> It's the same as that, it's the nothingness. You won't care, you won't be conscious anymore. So don't worry about so it. So don't worry about it, live your life. Do do with what your life, what you wanna do, and don't worry about it too much. So this is the new the new kids show they can tune into. Yeah. To see this train tell them that when they die, nothing happens. Nothing happens. But in like an, an amused way. I mean, maybe something happens, I don't know. Well, the train knows. The train knows. Nothing happened to Jon Snow. That's what he said, there was nothing. Yeah. And I trust Jon Snow. This train also trusts Jon Snow. This train <laughs> trusts Jon Snow. This train gets all its lessons from Jon Snow. How do trains do? They have wheels. They um, got a they got a bar in between the wheels. Yeah, there's a bar in between the wheels. Okay, I'll add the bar. A, How many wheels? Just a bunch. I'm gonna do four little wheels and then one big. Oh, a big wheel, like a tractor. What? You're doing a tractor train. You're doing a tractor. Trains have one big wheel, don't they? Do they? Sure. I'm not confident enough to, to refute you, but I, I think you're think wrong. So. I have an image in my mind of a train. You're thinking of a tractor. I think I'm thinking of a train. A tractor. This is a tractor. This is Tramus the tractor. This is Tramus the tractor. Here to tell you. Here to tell you, toot toot, I'm a train. Toot toot, I'm a train. All flesh is temporary. All flesh is temporary. Our bodies are meat prisons. But Our my... souls become as of stars. <laughs> Our earthly memories are as nothing. I'm Tramus the Tranctor. I'm, I'm Tramus the Tranctor. So I looked up trains. Yes. Do they have one big wheel or am I an idiot? There's no big wheel. What purpose would the big wheel serve? I just... I'm looking up train. I looked up steam engine trains, which is what you're drawing, and there's no big wheel. They just have four wheels in the front in a row. There's just no reason it would have a big wheel. The big wheel wouldn't be for anything. Now. That one has two big wheels. Now. But no one big wheel like it's a, a, a coal powered penny I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it two big wheels. I guess it's technically four big wheels. I don't know what I am, and I don't know who created me. I'm Tramus the Tranctor. Tramus the Tranctor. I have one big wheel. No, look again. Two big wheels. Two big wheels. An ever-changing number of big wheels. Which actually makes it four big wheels because there, there's one on each side. Well, I mean, we just have to trust you on that. <laughs> yeah, you have no <laughs> idea what's on the... It's all legs. Yeah, it could be all legs over there. It could be, could be nothing. These wheels are some butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tramus doesn't have any reason to, to go anywhere. Yeah. Tramus cannot move. The wheels shouldn't overlap like I've just done. Here's what I'm gonna do. 
<laughs> and they shouldn't be so ovular, probably. No, that's that's just perspective. Oh, perspective. I've forgotten. Jacob, I've seen you draw Cars Wheels I, as little, like, nubbins. I so do it get perfect. off my fucking case. You get on my page, my <laughs> web page, my Nathan fan page that I've made. It's you made got, a you made a fan page for me? Yeah, I did it on GeoCities. Aww. It's got little Nathan GIFs and like the background's twinkling stars. And there's one GIF of Goku charging up on there too, but that's unrelated. So it goes like bar. I feel like you're getting hung up in the details here. Yeah, you I are. Think, I think Tram is the Trank engine, the Trankter. Um, he doesn't have to operate via tra train standard rules. Thomas just says four wheels on either side, so like you're already going further. Yeah, Thomas this is, is basically well, this a is car. A, this, this is a tranktor. Yeah, right. This is a tranktor. So everybody, get off my case. Be sure to get all the you know technical aspects correct, so that the audience will not feel cheated. Yeah. In this drawing of a of a train with a face that tells you you're gonna die. It doesn't. I mean, that's not a secret. Everyone dies. It's a secret to kids. Uh, I guess that's true. This, this yeah, train... your dog your dog isn't at a at a farm upstate. Yes, your dog isn't uh -oh. at a farm upstate. You, Julie, your dog is at a farm upstate. Oh, okay. Uh, but all the other ones are dead. Oh. But yours will never die. Where do they go? <sighs> a farm upstate. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I've been caught in my lie. <laughs> so yeah, it's that's what it's saying. A farm upstate. I think I I think it's saying all flesh is temporary. Yeah, that's well, that's kind of its catchphrase. Here it comes down the track, and you hear instead of a train horn, all flesh is temporary. Escape your meat prisons, children. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tramus. It's Tramus the Trank Engine. Everybody uh, loves the Trankter. Everybody the trank loves engine. the Trank Engine. It's telling it to a cow that it's about to plow into because <laughs> it's on the tracks. <laughs> to give the cow some sort of final solace. Yeah. The, the cow is just resigned to its fate. The cow before maybe would have been upset, but because yeah. Tramus really laid things out, yeah. the cow is kind of like, well, I, I do see where you're coming from, and perhaps I was out of my place to be on the track, but it's good knowing that this, this would have happened eventually anyways. Yeah, especially for a cow, you know? Yeah. That's just going to become hamburger. And now it's going to become train burger as Tramus the Trank Engine gulps down the cow in its big maw. That's just a Caldwell comic. Look up that one. Do you do one where Thomas eats a cow? He does one where Thomas's mouth gets really big and eats a cow. Wow. It's pretty good. That does sound pretty good. That's you like, should look that up if you should you're watching look, this episode. You should look that up. Caldwell couldn't make it on this episode, but uh, he lives on in our hearts. His spirit is eternal. Yeah. And is also the, the makings of Stardust. Yeah. I like this, how the front like thing of the train goes way too low. Yeah, it's 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 all wrong. <laughs> Everything like, about the cow isn't even on the tracks. <laughs> He's like veering off the tracks to hit this cow. <laughs> the cow's like, I thought I was, I thought I was okay. I thought this was safe. He's like, no, uh. You didn't realize I was coming. He's so. What's the word that that this train is? Amused. Amused. He's yeah. so amused to be about to murder this cow. You thought you were safe. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> I'm done. This was a good suggestion. You Thank did, you. You did Tramus. I did Tramus the Trank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, oh, how bad a time it is. Let me have a time. Yeah, you have a time now. It's Jacob's turn. Let's see what I got. A lazy hot dog eating hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lazy hot dog eating hands. Just eating the hands. Just the hands. Just the hands. The tastiest part. Sure, of course. <laughs> it would be doing that. Just sort of lazily eating the hands. Yeah, I think we'll start with like a hot dog, you know, head. Uh-huh. And, and this hot dog's been like eating, so maybe it's got like a bit of a belly. Oh. Which you don't. Don't it's like think one of, too deeply. It's one of them stuffed dogs. It's got like instead of cheese in the middle, it's just it's all hands. It's all hands. It's all hands. It's in all there. the hands it's been eating. Yeah. <laughs> and um uh-huh. <laughs> bun. Yep. Hot dog have bun. Oh, the bun's like a little little chair for it. Yeah, the bun's the like a little chair it. for it. Like a bean bag. Yeah, it's Aww. very comfy. Well, it's lazy and it's got this, comfy chair. It doesn't want to get up to eat the hands. This would be such a sweet drawing if I didn't know it was <laughs> gonna be eating hands. And it, it also is in a bean bag. Oh, that's great. Double double comfort. Yeah, double comfort for this dog. 
Uh, yeah, and this is gonna come around like this. Maybe it kind of dips there behind the belly. And then, yeah, I think legs, mm -hmm. it's got them. This hot sure. dog's got them. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because I feel like in order to be lazy, you have to have the capacity to be not lazy. To make the choice. Like if the hot dog had, had was just a hot dog with no limbs or a method of mobility. Right, then it's cruel to call it lazy. It's not really being lazy. It's right. just that's like what it, that's all it can do. Laziness is a choice. Yeah. But this hot dog, it's got legs. It, it could just, get up and go get the hands. This was a hot dog that was gifted legs. By a wizard. By a wizard. And having the option to use them, this hot dog was like, no. It's like, I don't think so. I want to eat hands though. <laughs> I, do, I do. I do want to eat the hand, like just, just hands. I really want to eat hands. Is he eating the hands of the wizard that gave him the legs because he sees it as more of a curse? He's like, well, now I have no excuse. Yeah, that's true. He could be. I'm curious how the hot dog procures the hands if it's so lazy. Yeah, is there I like think... a hands delivery service that the hot dog uses? I think we're gonna get there. The hot dog does have pretty nice kicks. Oh yeah. Which again is like, these are really good shoes for like going and like playing some basketball. But they're just wearing them for sure. But you're not gonna, are no, you? No, this hot dog, hot dog, certainly not. Certainly not going to. And like, if you're, if you're gonna just sit here, then take the shoes off. You're tracking mud, because the shoes are really muddy, because the hot dog came in from being cursed by a wizard. Right. And then immediately sat in this beanbag and demanded a <laughs> feast of hands. This beanbag needs to be taller. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> Otherwise, the hot dog's or, doing like an aggressive workout routine. Yeah, or maybe there's just another beanbag underneath. Yeah, there's another one. They they they're stacked as you know high as they need to go. Yeah, they they weren't used to having legs when it made its initial stack. So yeah. it kept it kept stacking See, them. Here's another. And there's like another one back here. It's a pile of beanbags for this dog. What a lazy dog. This is a lazy dog. The lazy dog jumped over the brown fox or whatever. It was the the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy the dog. The lazy dog jumps over the brown fox. You need quick in there because otherwise you don't have the Q. It's, quick. It's a sentence that uses all of the letters in the English language at least once. Quick. The lazy dog jumps over a brown fox. How do you like that? I guess that works. That's good, right? Quick. Quick. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you'll miss it. <laughs> the lazy dog doesn't do yeah, things the lazy all the time. Dog, when it does, it, do, it goes very fast because it, it has to immediately go back to lounging. Yeah, it really wants to get things done. Okay, lazy hot dog mouth. Let's get a nose first. Oh, oh it's it's oh, really it's looking up. This is a Julia head pose. Yeah, it's a Julia head pose because I want you know the the dog to really be just like. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not bothering. This is this is giving me some lemon grab vibes. Yeah, I'm not bothering with leaving. Looking. I guess lemon grab is kind of a lazy idiot who does end up eating, not hands, but just like all the other lemon grabs. Yeah, that's true. That was That's kind of a, a crazy episode. Let's get that. Like Adventure Time. Let's get that. Lemon Hope, the Lemon Hope saga. That's some truly wild stuff, may there, I just there, say. There's some truly wild stuff on Adventure Time and people should watch that show even though it's done. I think it's better to watch a show once it's done because you know it it has an end point. I'll watch One Piece whenever that ends. It won't. It won't. Yeah, it's not going to. There's infinite stories that can be told about the funny pirates and their stuff. And all their cool stuff. And all their cool stuff. This is a big hand. Well, the hand is, is in the mouth. Oh, okay. So it doesn't detach the hand before eating. But it is, you know, like Julia said, it's still attached to the wizard. Okay, so <laughs> how did the wizard come to be in this situation? You know, Nathan, I'm not one to judge. Maybe it's like something the wizard's into. The wizard is into having his hands eaten. The, get, the, can wizard's... the wizard just magic <laughs> new hands onto himself? Yeah, probably. It's okay. a wizard. I don't know. So this is some sort of horrible blood ritual. This is some sort of like, yeah, horrible thing the wizard does and gets into, and then people kind of like see it and are like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I don't want to judge, but I don't get it. I don't understand why you're doing this. And the wizard's like, a wizard always keeps his secrets. And it's like, I get that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I just, I'm just gonna go. I don't know why you invited me yeah, here, I, don't, I guess is really I my don't question. Like, I don't like it. I don't, I don't mind that you're doing it, I just I don't. I don't wanna be here for this. You said this was a dinner party. It's my secret. <laughs> you see now. 
Well, it's not a secret because I'm watching you do it. Oh, yeah. he's enjoying this too much. Yeah, I saw you. I'm seeing you do it, and that's what I don't like about it. That's the part I don't like. The expression in the eye is one of pleasure. One of one of utmost pleasure. Yeah, and here's it's, like it's the an mouth. Em, it's like an embarrassing amount of pleasure. Even if he wasn't sticking his hand into a hot dog's mouth, I think if I saw a person making this expression, I would think I've stumbled into something. This isn't a feeling that you should be sharing with me. Yeah. This is a private feeling. This is a private feeling, and you did invite me over, yeah. and you said you'd be really hurt if I didn't come. <laughs> and I had other stuff I was supposed to do tonight. This wizard's a bit of an exhibitionist. Yeah. Here's his little beard. He's got like it's, a, it's really slobbery. He's got like cool hair. Yeah, the he's wizard's got, got a cool, <laughs> a cool <laughs> aesthetic for a wizard. Well, that's how he gets you in. Yeah. You know, you're like, well, that wizard seemed kind of cool. Like maybe there's going to be some kind of cool party. But then it's just it's just this guy and he's here, he's sticking his hand in the hot dog's mouth. So he the wizard made this hot dog to eat his hand, is what I'm gathering from this image. That's what I'm gathering too, but you know, I, I really know as much as you do. Uh-huh. We can only guess. Julia, what are your thoughts? You know, to each of their own. <laughs> but the the issue here, Julia, is that he's made it the wizard has made it our own. That's the problem. The problem is not that the wizard is getting his hand eaten by a hot dog of his own volition. It's that he's done it and he made us he made us come and see it. Well, the scene makes me feel like I've opened a door at like a hotel and thinking it was my room and then it wasn't. And then you do like the oh I uh, I'm gonna try to leave yeah, as oh, quietly oh, as possible. Sorry. Oh sorry, oh oh geez. Oh I'm sorry. Oh God. Oh oh no. And yeah. then you debate like do you do you tell the, the front desk clerk about it or do you tell yeah. absolutely no one ever yeah, in your yeah, life? Yeah, like what rules does this violate? You know, it makes me uncomfortable for sure. He's but got little hands all over his robe. It seems like everybody involved is consenting. It seems that way. So, and I don't want to look into it anymore. I yeah, guess is, I think is also yeah. the thing. I don't want to think about it more than I have to. The hot dog has legs, but no arms. No arms on the hot dog, no. But legs, yes. And the wizard is wearing. This is reminding me of Manos, the Hands of Fate. A little bit. A little bit with the hands on the robe. Yeah, that's what that was about, right? I don't know what that was. This this may as well be what that was about. I think that this is what that was about. Jacob. Yeah. Jacob, you do three finger. You do one less finger on the elbow hand. Well, this one's getting eaten. No, the elbow hand. Well, this one's only got three. Okay. <laughs> that one's only got three. <laughs> that one's only got three. The wizard's not a clothing designer. He's just a hand just wizard. I mean, it does look like he's wearing like a big handprint moo moo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> this is <laughs> what is this? Oh, he's a little. He's got a little Santa. Well, these ball. are his pajama, <laughs> his pajama robes. This is his bed. His bedtime routine. This is his bedtime routine. Before yeah. he goes to bed, he gets his his old hands eaten off from the day. Yeah, so by that the he lazy can, hot dog. So that he can conjure new hands for himself for yeah. the next day. Um, I'm not here to judge. This is unpleasant. I'm not I'll here say, to judge, but I am done but, drawing. You know, all flesh is temporary. We yeah. we know that. So keeping that in mind, I think we move forward. I think we move forward from this, and yeah. we, we say, you know what, wizard, more power to you <laughs> if this is what you're what you like. Just don't call us in next time. Yeah, you can do this. this is, just don't this call us. This is your in. thing. This is just for you. This is just for you. <laughs> Let Ju me do. Julia, yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. Let us begin the shuffle. An inappropriately dressed ghost. Crunching the numbers. Crunching the numbers. Someone's gotta crunch the numbers, and there's a way you're supposed to dress when you do that, and I'll tell you something. That ghost is not dressed appropriately. That ghost is not doing it. Okay, I okay. mean, do you get to choose how you're dressed when you're a ghost, or are you just wearing whatever you died in? The fact that it says an inappropriately dressed ghost seems to imply some some sort of agency on the ghost part. Much like the lazy hot dog implies mm -hmm. that it could be unlazy, an inappropriately dressed ghost implies that it could be appropriately dressed if it I wanted see. to be. Well, I, I guess in that instance, appropriate for whom? Who's, who's giving these standards of what is appropriate attire for a ghost? The number company. I see. Well, I, maybe maybe the number company is just fashion requirements aren't ghost friendly. Maybe whatever a ghost wears, the company will find fault with. Companies have never been wrong about anything. <laughs> That's definitely true. So I don't know what you're talking about, Nathan. Yeah. 
companies are people is the there thing. There needs to be a ghost on the the advisory board that's setting these standards for the company because otherwise they're not going to be setting reasonable expectations for their ghost employees. Yeah, there are different think, things to consider with ghosts. And like, I think, I'd, with my knowledge yeah. of companies, mm -hmm. if we just told them they need to have a ghost on the advisory board, they'd probably get one immediately. Mm -hmm. I've never known companies to not be well representative of their workforce mm -hmm. on the like you know upper levels of management. Mm -hmm. No company I've ever seen. No, yeah, not a one. Not a one. <laughs> uh, are these the numbers? Oh yeah. You know what? You know what? Oh, they're not the numbers. Oh, it's m it's more numbers. These are some more numbers. The ghost already has some numbers. So the ghost is working on some numbers, but yeah. we got more numbers coming in, and that's you know when you work at Numbers Corp. Julia, the composition of this scene is already so good. Yeah, you've already set up like a border of this this man. I gotta I gotta start doing more compositions when I when it's my turn to draw. What are you talking about? Your your train tra track tra what was it? It was uh, tra Tramus. Tramus, Tramus the Trank engine? Tramus was on those rails. He was hitting <laughs> that cow. Uh-huh. A good visual balance to that. I, I mean, it's just this this over the shoulder. It's so good. It, it just frames everything so nicely. Nathan, you should just start in every drawing you do. Start with it looking over a person's shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make a witness for all your drawings. The, I, same, you the know, same guy. Julia takes like, two minutes to draw this pose with perfect shading. For me, it'll be the first 10 minutes of my drawing just being like, fuck, shit, how to shoulders? Shit. Maybe we just have in the PSD, this guy's already there. Okay, yeah, Julia, can you just make <laughs> this, this yeah. sort of a template for <laughs> yeah, sure. future episodes so where I can just- we draw, this guy's just this, walked in on it. I just, there's such a mood here. This yeah. person is, you don't know what it, facial expression they're making, but it, it's gonna be so informed by what this scene is. I mean, what I really wanna see now, and, and maybe we can get this in the edit. Mm -hmm. I, I really wanna see this guy, but he's looking at the hot dog eating the wizard's <laughs> hand. <laughs> oh, you can, do it, you can do it just now, can you? Yeah, I can do it just now, I can. There you go. Just yeah, let's just the... let's just slide that that wizard and hot dog over a bit. Let's get him in frame here. Yeah. And this can be what he's just <laughs> he's brought the numbers, <laughs> but he went in the wrong hotel room. So first he brings the numbers here. <laughs> yeah, this is where he was like, first. Oh, um Oh, excuse me. I, I... <laughs> this was not <laughs> This was not what I this meant. This is the uh, the wrong office. I, I I have the. I'm sorry. I'm new. I was told it was the it was the third floor. Dude. You're in the wrong room, but you can stay. <laughs> no, I don't think I actually. Will. I'd love it if you stayed. I've really got to get these. Watch numbers. this hot dog eat my hand. I I do see that's what's happening, but we I really should get these. Off numbers. it goes. That's. Uh, don't worry. I can make new <laughs> hands for myself. Just slam the door on this yeah. and let's you yeah. know, get back to the room he was so supposed this, to go to. So this um, this temp at this company is like, okay, I hope this is the place the numbers go. I was in the wrong place before. Oh, so that's the stack of out outgoing numbers. This is an efficient ghost. This ghost has been crushing it. Yeah, I mean, he has a lot of work to do. They, you know... They think that he can just get a lot done because he's oh, a ghost no. and he has all the time in the world and he doesn't need to sleep. All that unfinished business. But the end pile is even bigger. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, That's no wonder this many. ghost is dressed inappropriately. It's It's got no time to dress. Yeah. If I had this many numbers to crunch, you'd be lucky if you saw a single stitch of clothes on me. So like, I need full mobility. <laughs> I gotta be live to get these numbers in. So this is the ghost's head. Yeah. This ghost has been working too hard. They've Aww. been working this ghost to the bone. Oh, ghosts don't even have bone. Well, how do I want his the face to bone. do? <laughs> That's always the question. That's always a question for a yeah. drawing. What do you want a face to do? Make sure it's ghostly. It's ghastly. I mean, I'm getting some ghost vibes from this for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a man. <sighs> this is just a sad man. Oh. Oh, is that a big chair? Is it a sad man in a big chair or a sad man in a bear costume? <laughs> it's a sad man in a bear costume. <laughs> That's the inappropriate <laughs> dress. As it comes. This ghost comes to work dressed as a bear. Yeah, I had a bear outfit. And they're like. And they do all the numbers. <laughs> I died wearing this. 
I just feel more comfortable. It makes me feel ferocious. <laughs> it's all cuddly. I'm so cold as a ghost, and this bear costume adds a little bit of warmth to my ectoplasm. Gives me a little warmth. It gives me the edge I need to get those numbers done. Are those the, the eyes of the bear? Yeah. Oh, I see. Is okay. This a, is this, was this an, a bear at one point? Or is this a costume? I think it's just a costume. Okay, it's just a very realistic yeah. bear costume. Because like, if he was wearing a real bear, then it would imply so much story. We can't like cool that. story to this dude. I don't want that. No, he just was wearing his favorite bear costume, and he died because he got hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> the train of truth. The train of truth. Yeah, he was. He wasn't on the tracks. He was further from the tracks than the cow. Yeah, he was in his home. This train. But the train barreled on through. This train is a menace. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can all agree. Train is the tractor, the trank engine, right through the wall. Must be stopped. Yeah. That's what the, the plot of the movie Unstoppable is. Yeah, it's about, about that. And But the, you know, the, the cool thing about this guy is, sure, he got hit by a trank engine mm -hmm. and died. Yes. But I'll be damned if he didn't get up the next morning <laughs> and head right into work and, uh, you know, come here to do the numbers. Yeah, I mean, anyone else showing up to work this many days a week wearing a bear costume they they'd get a talking to from HR, but yeah. the, the the numbers ghost, they're too good. Came to work dead, <laughs> and like that's you know talking about not taking a sick day. Yeah, didn't even take a death day. Didn't even take a death day. I I guarantee if I die, not coming into work the next day. Yeah, you're not gonna see me no here ever again. Uh uh, no thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go straight I, on to the afterlife. You know, no I, unfinished business. I love I love this job. I love getting to make Drawfee, but yeah, I'm not I'm not sticking around as a ghost. I'm not recording any episodes as a ghost. No. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. I'll tell my, you that much right now. My contract ends. Yeah, it's fulfilled at that <laughs> juncture. Uh, no no mas. Now what is, is that oh, a is diaper? It, is a diaper bear. Is this a diaper bear? It's a it's, diaper bear. It's inappropriately dressed. Yeah, that does yeah, the make diaper, it worse. Yeah, the diaper makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the bear's got a little pacifier. Yeah, this makes it, yeah. This I makes it sort of in a weird space where I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this costume exists. Yeah. I believe it exists. I think it had to be custom ordered for sure. Yeah. By this guy. Some people just love their diapy bears. Yeah, some do, some do. Um, and again, much like Hot Dog Wizard, if you want to dress like a diaper bear. If you want to dress like a diapy bear, do it, do it not at work. But don't come to work <laughs> dressed like a diaper bear to do the There's numbers. There's absolutely nothing that indicates ghost <laughs> in this. He's got wispy the, arms. Oh, the wispy, wispy arms. arms. The little wispy arms, you're right, you're right. Oh, and you can see the desk through them. Yeah, okay. translucent. Okay. Okay. Wispy yeah, you arms. can see a little bit of the of the... Molding back there. Okay. <laughs> is this Julia, done? This drawing is so good. <laughs> this is a very good drawing. All of the drawings, I think, are good in their own way. I think so too. I think every drawing is good. I think every drawing is good. Especially um, these. Yeah. So these are some suggestions that were randomly generated. Yep. Thank you again to Nick Glenn's uh, unofficial Droppy suggestion generator. Yes. At droppy generator.com. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. If you like suggesting us, what to draw, leave a comment. If you want to yell at us directly, get that immediate feedback, check out our Twitch streams. We yeah. stream every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, depending on when this video comes out, we might be doing more Twitch streams as well. So go go give the Twitch a follow. Give that give that Drawfee Twitch a follow. Then you'll know whenever we go on yeah, and get you the, can, get you the can yell at us. And you'll know for sure that we've seen it yeah. and that it affected us deeply. Exactly. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. All flesh is permanent. Temporary. Stay hydrated. Temporary. All flesh is temp. What did I say? You said it's all permanent. Oh, shit. Sorry. This is permanent. Sorry. Sorry. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed that episode of Drawfee, you should know that the best way to support us is to sign up for Dropout. For less than the cost of a very mediocre sandwich per month, you will get access to Drawfee videos a week early. You can talk to us on the Discord, and also there's exclusive series you can watch like Nathan's very own Cartoon Hell and Dimension 20. Uh, if you're interested, sign up at dropout.tv for a free trial, and I will put you on my list of very good boys, which I read every night before bed, and I give individual kisses to each name on the list.